Hey guys, Todd here again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, or I'm going to attempt to remove a decal from our Tiffin motorhome here. I'll show you here. Now this is a 2014 model. We've got this decal on this year, and it's just a flat uh, logo decal. It's a little thick in consistency. And I'm going to try to peel this off. I do have a heat gun I've purchased, and also you know it's not centered underneath the uh, underneath the window like I would like it. So I've got a new uh, logo, Tiffin logo that's on the newer models. That logo is right here, and it's chrome underneath this plastic. You can see it's it's. Uh, chrome finish I don't know if you can tell by that but that's gonna look really sharp on that door it'll be an upgrade I do have a uh, heat gun I purchased it's called the seek one heat gun and I like this gun because it does have an attachment or attachments to kind of blow the hot air it's even got like a little peeling tool Although it's metal, I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't want to scratch or scar the paint. Different types of attachments, funnels to direct the heat. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can get this thing off and replaced. Guys, I really didn't need the heat gun that much because it is sunny out here today. So, came off. I'm going to take some goof off now and get the uh, gummy sticky residue off there. And then we'll polish this up. All right, I think I'll give it a wash here with some soapy water. And we'll see if we can get that residue completely off. Guys, it's looking really good. All right, that looks great now. I'm going to dry it and then put some polish on it and then we'll clean it with the uh, maybe an alcohol cloth so it, the new decal or emblem sticks really good. Alright great now let me get some alcohol and a clean cloth. Alright I got some rubbing alcohol I'm going to apply it. Just to make sure the surface is prepped for the sticky emblem. That ought to do it. All right, now it's all about getting this emblem straight. And uh, like I told you, I wanted to get it centered with the glass, the window. And the other one was, I think, close to 
level with the door handle. But then I was looking, you got the stripes running through it. I was thinking about maybe dropping it down a bit in between so that it's in this clear golden area. Right there, I think I'm gonna put it right there. pretty good. I lined it up with that T as my centering point. What do you think before I peel the covering off? Let me know in the comments below. Would you have put it up over the painted lines or in that spot that I found that was one solid color? Let me know in the comments below. compared to what I had on there, that doll decal. Wow. I'm gonna have to put some polish on it, but guys, check it out. How it gleams in the sunlight. Let me polish it up real quick first. Man, I am so happy. I was kind of hesitant doing this because I didn't know if it was gonna ruin the paint or anything like that, or if I'd have problems getting the old decal off. But guys, look at that chrome emblem, how it shines. It looks like, uh, you know, more expensive looking than the flat decal that was kind of dull and faded out in the sun. This one is not gonna fade out. This one's gonna be chrome all the time. So what do you think about that height? Was that a good height to pick? I think I'm pretty happy with it. I like how it is centered now compared to how the other one was. This one is really centered up with that uh, upper glass in the door.